Hi guys, it's France. Welcome to this journal on Monday, week 129. Today I'm starting with the first layer of modeling paste, which I'm applying using a silicon paintbrush from Finovar. And I'm using a piece of kitchen towel as mask as I don't want the modeling paste all over my spread and I don't want to have a straight edge. So this will help me to create a distressed edge to my modeling paste. I'm applying a layer that is thick enough to stamp into it as I want to create some texture that way, but not too thick as I don't want it to take three days to dry. So trying to get something in between. This is the stamp that I want to use. It's one of my Stampatique stamps called Circled Circle. And I'm applying embossing ink to avoid having all the uh, modeling paste stick to my stamp. So I'm stamping halfway in the modeling paste and halfway on the paper. I've added a whole bunch of my stamps to my web shop. You can find the link in the description of this video. And yes, Circled Circle is on there as well. So as you can see, I'm really taking the time to clean my stamp completely, not leaving any of the modeling paste to dry on it, as it will kill the stamp eventually. And now I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Today's video is 12 minutes long. It took me uh, 50 minutes to do uh, the whole spread, not including the drying time. So while each layer was drying, I was doing something else. Um, so keep that in mind when you are creating after watching one of those videos that has been um, fast forward. My hands don't move this fast when I create. It, take me, it takes me quite some time. So be patient and allow yourself to take the time to get where you want to go. So on this side, my layer is a bit thicker, so I have a bit more of the modeling paste coming back up when I take the stamp off, but that's okay. Now that the first layer is completely dried, I'm coming back in with my second stamp. This is my Majestic Tree, and I stamped it with embossing ink. And as you could see, I really had to go and put all my weight on there to make sure that the complete stamp is on the paper. And now I'm embossing it with UT, which is Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel, which is nothing else than a thick, uh, clear embossing powder. And then just melting the powder to the paper. I'm taking all the excess off. And now I can um, finish my tree with some lines so that it's not floating on the page. And I'm using a soft matte gel to do so in a precision bottle. And quickly heat setting this so that I can stop working. To add color, I decided to mix some stuff together. So first I'm taking some soft matte gel and I want to make two colors so I have to little piles and to that I'm adding pigments uh, primary elements a dark one and a lighter one I'm just putting down the color alongside the edge and then using a lot of water, I'm creating drippage.
I want to use the leftover of the color um, as a glaze, so I'm adding some solution to it to liquefy it, but not losing any of the color intensity. And now I can go and apply it on top of everything. I also added some more water again, as I don't want it to just um, soak into the paper, but really stay as a glaze on top and blend nicely and softly. Now this is where you can start to see the tree showing up in the white of the paper. That's why I wanted to use a clear embossing powder to keep that white space in the middle. I do want to accentuate all that texture that I have on the edges, so I'm adding a metallic acrylic paint. This is a very dark purple, and when you create drippage with that, it almost turns black. So that will really help me to intensify um, the texture. And as it is a metallic acrylic paint, when you heat it up, it will start uh, creating some bubbles because of the heat trapped in between the metallic particles and the acrylic. And coming into contact with the air that is heating up, that will create those nice bubbles. I'm using a baby wipe to clean up the soft gel that I used to create the line so that it stays white and to take off some of the black that I don't want to have. Now, oops, I thought the camera was running while I was applying the wax on the edges of the page. Um, so just using my finger, I very lightly rubbed in some uh, wax, the new waxes from Finn. And I started to lift up um, the embossing powder using tissue paper and using a hot iron. So you remelt the powder and it sticks to the tissue paper and that way you can lift it up. So you can see now that the edges are no longer dark and black. They are highlighted with the metallic wax. And again, using a baby wipe, I'm taking away the black that I do not want to have so that I keep that softness and pinkness in the middle. I thought I wanted to have this word here. I'll take it back off later as it's taking away too much from uh, the page. And I'm adding some writing, first in white, then in black, and then in white again, just because I want to be the only one who's able to read what it says. This is, after all, a personal journal. And I do have a lot of people looking into it, which I don't mind, 
as long as I'm the only one who knows what it says. So going back in with my white pen and this just turns the whole thing non-readable. The only thing left to do was to add the date and that was it. I hope you liked today's video. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you back next time. Ta-da!